The main reason behind China's dependency on imported iron ore is that the country's own iron ore is relatively low-grade and expensive to process. Ever since 35-year-old Sun Yongsheng acquired a doctorate degree in mining science six years ago, he has dedicated his time to one thing, highly efficient exploitation technology for refractory iron ore resources. The main problem of refractory iron ore is how to industrialize and commercialize the newly developed technologies as many advanced methods remain in laboratories. Our success will be the result of practical application and the participation of private capital. Two years ago, the research center that Sun works for was approved by the National Development and Reform Commission to achieve clean and efficient use of refractory iron ore. Their core technologies are expected to realize the exploitation of 10 billion tons of domestic iron ore resources, nearly 10 times the country's iron ore imports in 2020. Thanks to the participation of private capital, we've established several production bases across the country, which will allow us to transform theoretical approaches into the actual output of iron ore, and also our technologies have been applied by many iron mines in Africa. Experts say that diversifying the sources of supply for commodities like iron ore has become part of China's long-term strategy to fend off the risk of reliance on any single source. We've set the goal to promote the highly efficient exploitation technology for the country's seizable factory iron ore mines while building production centers at major seaports to process imported refractory iron ore as soon as the shipment arrives.